All right, what's up guys? So it's been a long time since I've done a video like this, but I picked up a new helmet today. So this is my old helmet. This is the uh, Bell Qualifier DLX that I bought in like 2016. And it's all right. It's a very cheap helmet, uh, but the reason why I bought it was the transition lens. But today was the day I decided to go get a new helmet. So let's go ahead and open everything up. Okay, so packaging, this is, oh, what is that? Oh, this is like a visor mech. This is the wind guard right here. Some stickers, classic AGV. Oh, right on. They give you a pin lock. Sweet. All right, this is what y'all been waiting for. Try to open this with one hand. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the bed. Oh, I can't open it. <laughs> Alright. So, pretty cool. All black. No color for the AGV bag. And this is the actual helmet. So this is the Nardo Gray uh, AGV K6 <clears throat> that just released, I think, for the US like a month ago. And yeah, this is the Nardo Gray. I actually really like this color. Reminds me of the uh, BMW S1000. <laughs> Super light too. I think this weighs this lighter than the piston. But yeah, this is the helmet that I picked up today. Pretty cool. Figured I'd just make a little quick video. But hey, let me compare this helmet. <clears throat> oh yeah. So, helmets side by side. This one has a really wide view or wide vision. Um, a little bit shorter front to back, I believe. Yeah, slightly shorter front to back. This for sure is gonna be a lot lighter. But, like if you look at the color, this is like the grayish, like, I don't know, I think the camera makes it look a little green right now, but it's like gray, not a gray. But, yep, this is my new helmet. Uh, I don't know if I wanna put a GoPro on it yet, but just because I want to test it out and maybe like do some test runs with it, make sure it fits and all that. But so, oh yeah, you know what? Let's just go through the features real quick. So, this helmet really has a. Oh. Take that off. So, there's, I believe when you clip the thing on, it stays locked. But when you press it, it opens up a little gap and then you can press it and lift it for a full release. So, press it once, it's still pretty much locked, but it get, live, that gives it a little bit of airflow right here. And then when you press and pull it up more, that's the full <coughs> release and clicks every single time. Okay. The vents look really small, but to control the top vents right here, there's a little switch. Same with this one. Looks very, uh, yeah, I guess it's all right. I think these are upside down, no? No. But yeah, very simple. I believe there's rear vents too. Yep, but these are just passive airflow, so. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, great looking helmet. Fits really well. Um, it's like perfectly shaped for my head. The uh, shell size for the medium large, this one's medium small, but the medium large has a bigger shell size. There's a lot more gap between my like chin and then like this, I could barely like, I could almost touch it like the front of my helmet. But they give you a chin, the little wind guard, but I don't even know if this is gonna be good because it might hit my chin. Cause on my K3 that they gave me, uh, it hit my face a lot and it kind of broke it. But this helmet, it's a little bit better shape. So it goes on and off a lot easier. 
Um, but <clears throat> yeah, it was time for an upgrade. Uh, <laughs> Looks really good, you know. I'm excited to you know, start rocking this. I don't even know what else to tell you, but just want to show you guys my new helmet. <laughs> I'm very excited to be using this new helmet after having this Bell helmet for so long. I was getting a lot of shit at work too, but uh, yeah, you know what? I have a scale. Let's let's actually weigh this. So let me grab my scale before I go. Let me weigh. The scale is the scale I used for my clothes. So let's go ahead and weigh my bell helmet with all the stuff on it. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yep. To the side. Okay. So the bell helmet with all this stuff is 71 ounce. 7108 ounces. Okay. And now we'll put this helmet on there. <laughs> this has nothing on it, by the way. That is a solid 46.1 ounce. So, a little biased because the GoPro is on that and the Sena, but that is a crazy big difference. <laughs> but yeah, all right. Now I'm gonna end the video. But thanks for watching this video, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.